All righty, Lumberjacks, welcome back to another single-player episode. Uh, last time we were playing, we had just put these beautiful new trailer stakes, handmade by yours truly, uh, in order to stop the logs uh, from rolling off of the trailer. So now uh, we're going to knock down some more trees, and we're going to test out those stakes. I think it'll be fun. Now, we cut already a lot off the back end of this one, so I don't know. Maybe we'll just, maybe we'll just have a, a little bit of a tip come off here. There we go. Now that'll fit on the trailer, I'm sure. I'm just kind of going for these small trees for now. Just because they're really easy to handle and they're really easy to manage. So I think we'll come back when we get proper machines and we'll clean up that big stuff. We're going to clear cut the tiny trees and then do kind of a nice big tree cut as well later. Alright, so we're going to pile our tops uh, up against these big guys here for now. I mean, we got lots of little guys kicking around up here. Uh, it's going to be a little interesting once they get a little bit more into the, the woods here. Just because uh, I don't know how well that bobcat's going to traverse over this crazy terrain. So I guess we'll just have to wait and see. And let's cut it about there. So what I would like is to just kind of do a mass chopping here for now. And then we will uh, we'll go grab that bobcat and actually clean it up afterwards. But it's definitely a, a different style of logging doing all this stuff. Like you guys know, I'm used to just running in with the buncher or whatever and just giving her. Doing it this way is actually kind of funny. I was actually surprised to see how many uh, how many people were <laughs> interested in the new series doing logging from scratch just to kind of see how it went. And uh, yeah, it's it's different. I'll definitely give you that. I don't know how effective it is, but it's uh, kind of funny. I'm having fun anyway. And probably when 2019 comes out, until my mods are uh, ready, I'll probably start a series on that like day one, doing a logging from scratch for 2019. Because I, uh, as lots of people have said, Jordan, you need to actually play the game uh, before you start modding. And I was like, oh, okay. Because I, I, uh, I tend to discover things I never even knew were possible um, after, oops, after I try the game out a little bit more and actually play the vanilla version. As much as the physics sometimes do hurt my soul, um, it's good to have an experience with the in-game stuff so we can potentially improve it and make it better for you guys, so... This is what we're doing. Like a year and a bit later, <laughs> uh, we're finally playing Farming Simulator 2017 uh, by the book. And uh, yeah, 2019 will be right out of the gate. That's my plan. Because our mods won't be ready for a little while when it first comes out anyway, so I figure might as well, uh, might as well do something different and see what we can, see what we can scrounge up. So I imagine as soon as 2019 comes out, I'll stop this series and we'll basically start all over again. Um, there's probably going to be some new equipment. I don't know. Well, I don't know how much new equipment there'll be, but some new pricing, new maybe mission strategies. I don't know. Either way, we're going to log. And it'll be fun. That's the way I look at it. Getting these tops a little long here, aren't we? It's all right, though. We'll give me something to pick up later. Make our own little forager pile. Uh, where's the little trees? There's a little tree. We're just thinning. Thinning the herd here. I'm picking all these up and getting them on the trailer. That might be a whole other sport, but... Um, I feel confident that we should be able to do all right. Where's that one going? Oh, that's good. Thank God that was there. I'm almost scared to cut it here because I bet it'll start to keep rolling down that hill. Oh, maybe not, kid. I hate that flying thing. You have to, like, space your distance. Don't pick it up. There we go. Okay, it looks good. Let's cut down that one and maybe those two, and then we'll start loading some here. And eventually, um, I probably, I guess the buffalo is probably the one we'll want for moving, moving wood. 
Then we can just use that Buffalo Claw. In theory, we can use that Claw to load up, um, load up the uh, little trailer we got. And then eventually, if we have enough money, maybe we can buy a logging truck and load it up with that as well. I just hate how there's no excavator loaders in this game, like excavator style loaders. Like no grapple loaders, there's no, there's nothing really like that. The closest thing we got, I think, is the wheel loader. I think that's the only one. I wonder why, I wonder why Farming Simulator never made excavators. I wonder why. It just seems like a really, it's a farming piece of equipment. It's definitely a logging piece of equipment. Um, but they just don't seem to uh, make those, and I don't know why. I mean, I'm more than obliged to create them, but I was always like, man, what a what an easy idea to throw into the game and not include it. Like, I don't know. Seems weird to me. I'm sure the question's been asked before, but maybe we'll get maybe we'll get a surprise. Maybe there'll be some Komatsu excavators or something that they haven't re revealed yet. I just want them to put a track machine in this game so that I don't have to um, add third-party scripting to the tracks to make it work. We're working on getting scroller tracks working right now to um, put on the loader. The first one we're going to be working on is going to be the loader uh, for 2019, like the uh, the old Sabertooth. It's going to have a different name. It's going to have an equipment number instead of a name this time, but um, I, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Test it out. All right, let's, uh, let's see... What we can do with these trees here now. This one's a little bit of an interesting angle, isn't it? Now, hopefully it should be easy to load now because I don't have to worry about losing my logs because of our makeshift stakes here. There we go. Let's see if we can get two of these together. Ah, oh, what a crappy grabber arm, I'll tell you. If this were FDR logging equipment, we would never have this problem. Sure. I'm just gonna do one at a time simply because I it's just gonna be so frustrating trying to load them individually. I also hate that it doesn't uh, tighten up enough to um, really to really squeeze down on that log. There's probably a better grabber out there that I just don't know about. There we go. Bloop. Okay, I'm gonna try a new tactic. So I'm gonna try to actually like come down on top of it like this and pincer it. Cause I think it actually would work better to be honest. Yeah, that's what I figured. And that's what I figured. We kind of grab this one on an oblong dangle. And we can just leave the head down. Screw it. This one's actually a really long piece. Not only that, but we can now just drop them straight and not care. I think we found the efficient way to use this piece of crap. I mean this beautiful piece of equipment. Oops. Uh, let's go a little bit lower. There we go. Now we can load in first person and can actually see what I'm doing. Bad arse. 
Alright, grab this one here. I don't want to grab it more towards the butt end because it's heavier. We'll have a lot more control over it that way. And this thing automatically kind of stabilizes a bit when we uh, drop it, which is really weird. Alrighty, there we go. This is funny now. I don't know why I find this hilarious, but this is just really weird. Yeah, we're going to grab one more, and then uh, we're kind of cutting right at the end of our episode here. This doesn't move anything, does it? Why is it? Like, why do you think it lifts? Does it lift on its own, or am I lifting it? It might be me lifting it. Just, like, unbeknownst to me. No, it lifts, or something happens. Weird. I don't know. Very strange. I don't want this one on the edge here if I can get it. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it like this for now. Um, but yeah, now we're uh, now we're cooking with uh, fire here. This is uh, this is great. We're uh, moving logs a lot quicker now, so we should be able to pretty much buy one of these. Maybe another one more load after this. Uh, after I cut this section, I'm going to bring the trailer up kind of midpoint here, and then we'll knock down some of these other trees here and keep her moving. But uh, yeah, so if you guys uh, like the video, leave a like, leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe, and if you're in the bush, don't forget to hug a tree. All right, guys, we'll catch you on the next one. See ya!